Hi, my name's Ben with Outbuild, and I'm gonna show you how to connect your Outbuild account with Procore so you can start pushing your schedules, integrating RFIs and submittals. Anywhere from within Outbuild, you'll be able to go to the top right corner, float your cursor over your profile picture, and select Settings. Now, as an Outbuild admin, you should have access to your integration settings, and then from here, you'll see the ability to connect to Procore. You will need to have admin permissions active in Procore as well to make this connection successful so that you can see all of your projects. Once you have that, you'll simply just want to select Connect, hit Continue, log in with Procore, and then from here, you'll select your company, you will confirm your company, and then finish the setup there. You will see a notification in the top right corner that lets you know that you connected to Procore successfully. Once you have successfully connected your Outbuild account with your Procore account, you'll now have the option to add projects. When you select Add Projects, that will open up our window here. You can select your company and then select what Outbuild project you want to connect to your Procore project and what stage or schedule. From there, you can simply go about adding more projects as needed. Now what's really nice is once your, your projects have been connected, now you can start utilizing all of the tools that we have available with the Procore integration. What that looks like is one, we can go to our master schedule and we can take the schedule that we have here built in Outbuild. We can go to our master schedule and then we can see the schedule that we have here in Outbuild and start creating a schedule update. That is what will push the schedule that we have here into Procore, simply by going here to Schedule Update, creating a new update, giving it a name and a comment. And at the end of that process, we will see those updates and they will have the Procore logo next to them so that we can ensure that that is successful. I'll show you what our schedule looks like in Procore now. I can go to our demo project. I can review my schedule. And if we were to re review our Gantt chart and all of our dates, this is gonna match up exactly with what I have in Outbuild. Now what's very nice is once I have this schedule connected, now I have more tools available for me. I can come into Procore. I can go to my RFI tool. I can create a new RFI. I fill in the normal subject matter that I would. And then when I get towards the bottom of my screen and your Procore view may look a little bit different, you should have the option for a schedule impact. If you mark yes, that it has a schedule impact, we will then be able to view this RFI within Outbuild. Let's go check that out now. All right. When I'm in Outbuild, I can go from my master schedule to my look ahead and then go to my roadblocks tool. And this is where I'm going to be able to see all of my roadblocks listed in one place. Now, when it comes to the RFI that we just created, I can see that listed here. I can select the hyperlink and view it within Procore. And I can even go further and mark the status of that roadblock, assign it to a different user, and even assign it to a task within my look ahead. This will allow us further insight and to see how our RFIs with schedule impacts are actually affecting our work in the field. Another great integration we have with Procore is the ability to track your submittals within your schedule. That is as simple as, again, going to your project. I'm gonna go to my submittals tool within Procore. From here, I will create a submittal. In my submittal page, I will be able to fill in all of the pertinent information. The most important for us at Outbuild is simply a title for that submittal, a lead time, and then the ability to track that task, track that submittal on a task in your schedule. So again, I can put in lead time, I can use this dropdown to view the scheduled items. 
and select one to connect it to and create that submittal. Once I've done that, I can go back to Outbuild. Once I'm in Outbuild, I can then scroll down my schedule, make sure that I have my view options for submittals turned on, and then see Open and Overdue submittals in my schedule. The red is gonna denote any overdue submittals that I have. I can open up my activity card I can navigate to my submittals tab and then I can see my open or draft submittals and if I'm moving beyond my planned submittal date or my planned approved date based off the lead times that we've given. When the status has been updated in Procore, our approval dates and our submittal dates will change here.